and uh, the, the issue of foster care and the plight of uh, kids in uh, foster care is uh, something that comes up over and over and over again. Ms. Pierre, tell me uh, more about what uh, not only foster or whatever forever family does, but you were in foster care, correct? Correct. Tell me about it. Well, uh, I gotta tell you, uh, foster care definitely isn't you know, something you look forward to or uh, an enjoyable moment. Um, but like you spoke to Joe before, um, at 18 had to uh, be the, the, maybe the most difficult time of my life due to the fact that you know 18 to me felt like 17 and it felt like 16 and it, it really no, was no different but the difference was is I was told that um, I was no longer in care anymore so I got I have to fend for myself and, and do everything by myself and to me I was like what what does that mean you know I don't, sure. I, mean, I, don't I never taught myself anything no one has ever taught me anything so how how do I do this? So how old are you now? I'm 22 now. So you got through it. Huh? Thanks uh, for our families <laughs> mm-hmm. and and a few others, um, but yeah, I I got through it. Um, the the thing that I appreciate that you know I'm happy that for the families came to my life was, you know, it wasn't just uh, someone you know throwing a camera in my face and trying to you know make get a good story. You know, it, it was it was someone who came into my life and and stayed in my life and and made sure I was being taught the necessities of of what what a man should be like and 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 taught responsibilities and taught you know how to budget how to how to you know um fit for myself but it wasn't just that I was taught you know I was I, you know I was taught how to discover who I am as a person and through that you know it's it's been a powerful um outcome because now you know where I thought I would never succeed, I I, I strive. I'm I'm now a uh, a voice for kids in foster care. Th- um, thankfully for for our families, uh, I you know I travel from Tallahassee to D.C. advocating using my voice as a as a tool uh, to, uh, for kids in the system today. And and I I know I just a while ago I was up in Tallahassee um, pushing the education and records bill, which became law within our state that benefit. Um, Kids in foster care today, which was a really big accomplishment, and I'm also a member of the 40 Youth Shine, which is a, a group of um, formal foster youths who uh, um, create uh, bills and 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 advocate them in uh, 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 in Tallahassee. Is uh, what what would you want people to know? And by the way, I just want to remind our listeners that they can reach Forever Family at www.com foreverfamily.net that's f o r e v e r family.net and the phone number 1888 365 family what, uh, what what happens when somebody calls that number um Mez, what and what do people get when they call forever family what's at the other end well they get correct information information that you know that they may not know too well they 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 get um, information as like being a mentor. Uh, if you if you have interest of being a mentor, you can get that information on how to be get plugged in and and be a mentor. If you want to donate, uh, they get information on how to donate. If you just want to be uh, you know uh, involved with children and and, and the system, you, you get the correct information. You know there's 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 there's, there's a media that gives information just just for ratings, and there's media that gives information to change lives. And you get the information that that would change a life. And 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 that's the information you would receive from from calling that number. What do you do now, uh, professionally? What did you do from age well, for the past four years, from the time that you went into? Uh, I'm not trying to pry, but I think the story is obviously a success story. So let's talk about you know you as a as somebody who's been helped by the system and that you know positive outcome. What do you do now? Where have you? Where were you at age 18? What did you do? Well, at age 18, I I gotta be honest. I was at a um. A, a, a homeless shelter. Okay. Uh, like I said, you know, I, I didn't know where to go. I, um, I you know, I I knew nothing. I had I had no life skills. So I. So I, you turn eighteen, and and with the way the law is now written in Florida, it's um, you qualify for certain benefits or you lose most of them or what happens? Well, you see, um, there is. I see. The thing is, the thing about the system is information. You know, so 
if I did qualify for certain uh, benefits, I knew nothing about them because no one informed me of them. I see. So I was just told to to, to pack my stuff and leave, you know, and 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 kumbaya. Mm. Um, but you know, uh, so like I said, I was in this homeless shelter. I, I you know, I, life wasn't the greatest, but to say the least, yeah. Right. Um, but eventually, I I got involved with uh, for our family. Uh, where I was more informed, taught, educated, and 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 now I educate those and, and it's still in the system. Right? Cause I don't want the same thing to happen, to happen to me, to happen to others. Mm -hmm. And I I think it's such a blessing to have organizations out there. Cause as a child, I didn't know they existed. I, I you know, you, you, you would told me something my favorite family existed. I I would have called you a liar. But I'm I'm happy I I've been able to witness it. Were you able to go to school? I'm in college, or, or yes, I'm in college now. I'm in college now. I'm right now. I'm attending PBC and also BCC, and um, and I also work for kids. Uh, I work for for a company called Four Kids of South Florida, and it's a uh, um, also a nonprofit organization that uh, take in foster kids, and I work with foster kids. Okay. Uh, that's that's what I do there. Okay, and tell me just so I understand that you know, on the one hand, we are talking about you know, giving accurate information and so on, but give people a sense of the kinds of situations in which foster care kids have found themselves uh, needing to then be put into foster care because uh, we want to stress the fact, I think, that this can happen to kids in, in any kind of family, rich or poor. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I'm telling you, it happens, it does happen to both sides, but... The thing that we need the world, you know, to understand is that it, these kids are, are are just everyday kids. They're normal kids that were just put in a bad situation. Mm -hmm. um, and if you if you're asking me what they need, I mean, if they need the same thing every kid needs. You know, love, care, nurture, someone to, you know, pick them up when they fall, someone to to just notice them, mm -hmm. to know their existence. Uh, it, it is not. It's nothing too complicated. It's it's what we all needed to to grow up, uh -huh. uh, to to find our way in life. Just that person to run back to, someone to hold to hold when you're sad, someone to have a shoulder to lean on, and 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 you know, and these are the things that these kids need. Um, you know, a lot of these kids, they're not put it this way. If we as people don't take the responsibility and give a hand, somebody else will. And that somebody else may not not be the best option for that kid. Mm -hmm. and, you know, when we can take the initiative and be a light to your life. Mm -hmm. uh, you're a pretty good advocate, it sounds to me. It would be hard to be a legislator in Tallahassee and listen to you from your own personal story and and not to not be moved. What kind of response do you get? Well, it's funny you say that because uh, <laughs> I was trained by the best. <laughs> but it's funny, it's funny you, you say that because I, I went to Tallahassee. Uh, a few months ago, and I met with uh, um, Governor Charlie Chris, and I, I I I told him my story. I told him the reason why this bill needs to be amplified into a law. It was the educational bill and the records bill, and you know it, it was very emotional for everyone in that room. Mm -hmm. But I'm happy that they all saw the the the, bright, the bigger picture, the brighter picture, and which is these children. What and was the what, what was the nature of the bill? What was the uh, what was the what did it uh, provide? The, okay, the uh, records bill allowed uh, kids uh, to obtain their information once they age out of foster care. I see, I see. And you know, it's 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 their information, so you know they need it to to go to college, to go to the military, to go to the military. You know, your social security. Where you came from, the houses you've been to—it's—it's it's to know who you are. And, and you mean before this bill, that was not the case. No, no. So you would you would you, a, a, a child would leave foster care at eighteen, and in addition to having no resources, they didn't have a record of who they even were. Exactly. Good God. Yeah. We're going to take a break, ladies and gentlemen. It is Forever Family. Foreverfamily dot net. One eight 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 three six five family. We'll be back talking once again with Gia and with Mez after the break. Don't go away. You know that the ice cream scoop can make a child smile and that by slowing us down, the traffic light can keep us going. You know that the lawnmower makes life easier, that the blood bank makes life possible. But did you know all these ideas came from the minds of African Americans? Support the United Negro College Fund because a mind 
is a terrible thing to waste. Visit uncf.org or call 1-800-332-UNCF. Brought to you by UNCF and the Ad Council. You are listening to the Forum for Nonprofits. If you've missed any part of today's broadcast, you can hear the entire show online at your convenience, 24-7, from anywhere in the world. It's easy. Simply go online to forumfornonprofits.com. You can even download the show and send it to others online anytime. The Forum for Nonprofits. Go online to forumfornonprofits.com. 